go meet people. I started walking. I met a couple that later on I found out that been new this for 20 something years. And it, for me, that was the excellent people to meet at my point of my journey. They were great, calm, sat down with me, chatted with me. We just sat there and talked, period, like if we had clothes on, except we were unclothed, we were nude. I can remember that first time when they looked at me, the feeling that I got when they looked at me and just smiled and shook my hand was, I don't know if you've ever been out working in a, on hay bales. Again, I'm from Texas, uh, born and raised a cowboy. I remember one, more, one day uh, I was baling hay. Temperature was about 90 to, 97 degrees in the heat. Ten, in the Panhandle of Texas, that's damn hot, all right? And I was given, I was given a, a Michelob beer, a Michelob bottle beer. Here I am, I've been bailing hay all day, sweating my ass off. And this gentleman comes up to me and he goes, here, you've earned this. I looked at that bottle of beer, cold, had ice dripping down the side. I cracked open the top, took that first sip, and it was like honey. It was like, I, for lack of a better word, it was like I, I just had an orgasm. That's how damn good that beer was. That's the feeling I had when these people just talked to me. It was like everything I had been thinking about was gone. It was like I did a brain dump. Right there, everything just left my brain, period. The mindset I had to get into was don't think. That's all. Be yourself, period. To hell what people think about you. That's the level of confidence I had to get to. That's the mindset I had to put myself in, okay? Again, some of the, 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 the thoughts running through me were like, man, if there's going to be, there's more couples here. You know, every now and then that thought would, would sneak in. There's more people. They're going to see you. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to point at you. I didn't know how insecure I was till I started remembering all these feelings I had when I first was seen as a nudist, okay? Then it started hitting me. Okay, then I started realizing, this is cool. I like this. I'm comfortable. I have no worries. Everybody looks you in the eye when they talk to you. Ain't nobody can, you can't hide shit. Hell, you're all nude. You can't hide nothing. And it just seems like the truth was just flowing out, you know? Then it hit me. I was like, okay, what if I get a heart on? I was, oh, I started like my brain started running, started panicking. Then I had to calm myself back down. I was like, hell, I've been here 20 minutes already. You know, I haven't got one yet. So as I was talking to the, this couple, I asked them that question. And they, the reply, the response that I got was, just roll over. <laughs> I was like, wow. I never thought of that. The lady goes, yeah, if you do, it's natural. It's human nature. If it happens, this was, now, now the first place that I went to was a family orientated, okay? So that's frowned upon. Yeah, it, it's natural. It's human nature, but you need to cover it, period. Okay, it happens, but make sure that you cover. It just depends where you are, which of those nudist camps you're at, and do they allow it, okay? So the response was just roll over, or if you're in the water, just stay in the water till it calms down, okay? Then I started laughing. I was like, wow, that's, that's just common sense. Hell, I never thought about that. <laughs> 
to this day, I have, I'll be honest with y'all, I have, and I do that. I'll just roll over or I'll start thinking, mentally start thinking of something else. Or I'll dive in the swimming pool with no warning. I'll just get, I'll just dive in. I'll get my happy ass in the pool. I'll stay there till it goes down. Okay. Uh, the biggest thing you'll hear from a nudist, it, they, will, they will say freedom. You feel freedom. Free. You feel free. Um, that's one of the biggest words that everybody uses. And that's a big word. That's a big word. It's free. Freedom. And basically what it, that means is, you, for me, I can only speak for me. When I say freedom, means I did a brain dump. I'm not thinking of anything. I'm not worrying of anything. I'm just being me. Period. Uh, you're very truthful, very honest. Anybody can ask me anything, I'll answer. Well, that's how I live. I mean, some people don't like asking me a question because they know I'm going to give them the truth, good or bad. One lady, uh, a few years ago, I was in California and Kylie doing some work. A partner of mine picked up this chick at a cl club and we were all headed back to the hotel. And she was sitting in the middle and... Uh, she looked at me and she goes, well, how old do you think I am? Well, my buddy sitting on the other side, he just looked at me and he goes, God damn, there goes the night. And I just started laughing. I said, ma'am, are you sure you want me to answer that? She goes, yes, how old do you think I am? My buddy on the other side, he goes, he, he told the, cab, the taxi driver, he goes, bro, just stop right here because she's going to get out. So I looked at her and I said, ma'am, you look about, honestly, about 52, 56. She goes, I'm 28, you asshole. And she just went off on me. I told her. I, she knew it from the get-go. I was going to be honest. And she did look that old. I'm not going to lie. So uh, short version uh, we got her another cab, and uh, she went home, and my, me and my buddy went back to the hotel and partied on by the swimming pool. All right, squirrel. Uh, the other feelings that you'll hear new to say is respect, and you'll hear truthfulness. And I guess that comes with uh, stripping off your clothing. You're just, you're bare. You, ha you, can't, you can't hide nothing. And I think your brain and your tongue work hand in hand, with with that process that you're an open book. That's why I like being a nudist. I, I, I just love being truthful. Good or bad, I'm going to be truthful with you. Okay? The other thing <laughs> for me, for me, that I, I feel when I'm a nudist, I feel taller. I really do. I feel taller and... I, Honestly, I feel like I, I fart lightning sometimes. That's how badass I feel when I'm a nudist. When I'm totally nude among other nudists. It's just a great, great feeling. The benefits of being a nudist. Well, you've got the sun. That's vitamin D. Okay. You're airing out your body. Uh, I don't know. I haven't researched it. But there's just something about the body that needs to breathe. That's what I believe. I believe your body needs to breathe. And to me, nudist is one of the ways you keep your body flowing. Then you have the dead body cells, okay? Just like when you're in bed at nighttime under the covers, your, your dead cells will fall off your body, un, un, unseen to us, to the naked eye. But that's what happens. And I think that, that those cells replenish each other in the sunlight. That's thus the vitamin D. And you're more aware about being clean when you're nude. You, 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 you look at yourself at a, at a, as a different person. You look at yourself as this confident individual individual. 